Harley says to her, uh, Judith, he's like, you know your husband, uh, why are you with him? He's kind of regular. He's kind of regular, but lucky. And I'm like, motherfucker, have you seen this man? <laughs> I want to be in him. I want him to be in me. I don't, he is not regular. <laughs> this man is anything but regular. <laughs> Man, it's gorgeous. Uh, Brian, you're revealing too much about yourself. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the 20th episode. Good, bad, or bad, bad. The show where we watch terrible movies and tell you should too. I am your host, Mr. Brian Chilligo. I'm joined by my co host, who looks thrilled to be here, mm. <laughs> Kylan. You did this to yourself with this movie. I did. I did. You chose this, not me. Don't give me that look. I have some angry words for you about this movie. <laughs> <laughs> want to let you know that we have our second episode of Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad, Broken Dreams out and available to $5 patrons. I will drop a little sampler in right here so you can check it out and see it in all its glory. It's from Kyle's favorite film that he's ever made. I so hate <laughs> myself so much. So check this out. This, this is probably one of my most embarrassing projects I've worked on. Can't wait. <laughs> I've never seen this and I'm so excited. Let's get into it. Oh my god, it's called self-imprisonment! <laughs> well, that's it! That's all I needed to see! <laughs> that is hot! <laughs> Done! Didn't even hit play. Didn't even need to play. Oh god! <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm ready. I hope you're ready. I think I'm ready. That was Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad, Broken Dreams self-imprisonment. <laughs> if you want to check that out, you can go to our Patreon at patreon.com slash bb. Subscribe for $5 or more, and we still have more of those to come. Uh, my One of my movies will be next, uh, and then we'll have to do some more after that, but it's going to be, they're going to be exciting. This one is, I think, pretty funny. <laughs> and now, on to Temptation. Today we watched. Well, yesterday I the, watched the complete title of this. Oh yeah, right. Because they can do not, the complete title. Yeah, the complete title. I think I can get it. Give me a shot. All right. Temptation. Confessions of a marriage counselor. Tyler Perry's ah, temptation. Tyler Perry's temptation. Confessions of a marriage counselor. Yes. I I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. This movie made me so irrationally angry that I I This is not a good one. I it just made me angry. And the fact that it was two hours long didn't help. Brian, mm hmm This film. How much did you like it? I hated it. You hated it? I hated this movie. Oh. As you said, it made me or it's made me super angry. It's all right. Everything about this movie made me super angry. I hate you for making me watch this movie. This, it's terrible, and it's two hours long, and it's terrible. It's, so definitely a bad, bad from you already. Yes, I, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even want to review this movie. It's awful. I mean, I do. I have eight pages of notes because I watched this movie drunk last night at midnight, and I was like, that, that, "What is this?" That is a suggested way. Yeah, uh, good lord. Don't, oh no, the suggested way is don't ever watch this movie unless you just want to be angry. And if you want to be real angry about a terrible movie, sure. Go for it, but it's awful. It's awful. It's awful. It's an awful movie, and I didn't like it. Uh, what was with all the O's in the titles? I don't. It's some dumb stylistic thing. I have no clue. There's... I thought I was trying to figure out, like, because there's no O in. It's not called like the movie title doesn't have anything to do with. I don't know. It's just they, they like every time they're O's, they like hang on the screen and move around. And I was like, is that mean something? Is that no. relevant? It's no. Because I'm like, the title's Temptation. There's an O in Temptation, but it's not like the. If it was teased, that would. I was very confused was already. It, was it like a special little gift for Oprah? Maybe. I was thinking like maybe because it's like a sexy movie, like O's for like orgasms. <laughs> I don't know. I was. That was the only connection. That completely goes against the message of I, well, this true. terrible that film. That is fair. That is fair. But I didn't know that going in. I didn't know what the message was going to be. I didn't know what the message was going to be till the end of the movie because it, it. I thought I knew a few times, and I was well, always. I mean, wrong. if you want to go back, if you want to break down the basis of this of this narrative structure, is it's a morality play. Oh yeah, no, it's a cautionary tale. A horrible, horrible. This cautionary, is like it's like cautionary. Ben tale. and Arthur level morality play. Yeah. Damn it, Arthur. 
I need to know that I can count on you. It's fucking terrible. Uh, it's it's incredibly just the the message which one we get to is so. I don't even backwards and awful and offensive and terrible and <laughs> basically uh, t- t- women better know their place is the <laughs> message of this movie to an extent. I mean, that's not the complete, me- but kind of. And love Jesus. That's the message of this movie. Or else you get it's, AIDS and die. It's a Tyler Spoilers! Perry film. What do you expect? <laughs> I know. I've never seen a Tyler Perry I've film. I've seen a couple. And boy, are they... Hello, darkness, my old friend. I- I've literally never seen a single one yeah. uh, until now. Um, I, I, didn't even see, I didn't even see Gone Girl. So I've never even seen a movie Tyler Perry's been in. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm just saying. I've never seen Gone Girl. And right... About <laughs> here. I don't have it. You'll have to give me that clip because okay. I don't. Ha- I don't have the movie, so you'll have to give me that uh, clip. I do have a funny Tyler Perry story though about the film. All right, you. Let's just get into. Is this a ther- let me get my, into- One of my first notes is that is this a therapist office or a police station? In the beginning, before we get into the flashback, because it's I, like what it is looked this like a domestic to... violence thing is initially, that, I, but, it, but a it's not. Counseling. It's a marriage counselor, but it, it seriously looks like a like a '90s police station. Yeah, I thought like, it was a police station. Room. I'm like, but yeah. they're just at marriage counseling. What is that supposed to be? So, and and again, this movie, the message had me guessing, but nothing else about this movie did I ever have any questions <laughs> on because I thought it was okay. Let's get into it. So we meet this marriage counselor. Uh, she has never said her name initially because let me let's. Uh, ugh. So you get into the, you meet this marriage counselor and she's talking to this couple and about uh, uh, and they're like marriage is on the rocks or whatever. So she's like, you got to figure out what you got to work it out. I don't even know. I don't. Fi- I, but so she starts telling a story basically. Well, the, guy, the, guy the guy's like, the, the guy's, guy's like, like I can't, I can't deal with this. I can't, I can't do this. I'm sorry, Bradley. Don't. I'm sorry. Yeah, and leaves. And then the, uh, she's like, let me tell you a story about my sister. I'd like to tell you a story about my sister. And I was like, it's about you. It's about you. I, I, I didn't mean. the worst way to begin that. I know. Let me tell you a story about my sister. I'm like, it's about you. That was in my notes. I literally have this story's about you. That you don't have a sister. This story's about you. And then it cuts to a little flashback of her as a kid. And I'm like, yep, this is about you because there's no other girl there. And, but they treat it like a twist at the end of the movie. It's not. It's incredible. It's not stupid. a twist. It's, it's the most obvious, <laughs> blunt, like, this is about you. This is stories about you. Sh- shut up. The story's about you. Just say it's about you. I, oh, made me so mad because I'm like, this is the most obvious, not twist, twist. So go, going through the backstory stuff, so past all that. Yeah. This backstory, this story about um, these two characters, I don't even remember their names. Isn't that bad? Uh, uh, Judith, Judith and Bryce. And Bryce. It is the most vanilla story yeah. that you can possibly vanilla. From the moment Judith and Bryce met, something sparked between them. They became inseparable. No, oh, yeah, it's the, they were little kids and they knew each other since they were six and they were high school sweethearts and they got married and they're in love. Right? Isn't that yeah, the story? That's exactly <laughs> I mean, it. like, isn't that, that's exactly like, it. It's like, well, you're uh, really hooking me with an interesting narrative so far, movie. I'm super into this. The lines that got me laughing were uh, her explaining Bryce's passion of wanting to work at a small uh, f- family owned pharmacy, basically, and then one day own it. Bryce's lifelong dream was to work in a small pharmacy that maybe one day he could own. Like that, like that happens. Like when does that ever happen? When does somebody who has nothing to do with a, a, like a family owned business take control of yeah. a family owned business? Yeah, I, very rarely. I'm sure it happens now and then. It can, yeah, but yeah, it's I'm like, sure it happens, it's, but... it's kind of dumb. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> oh, and, and, and one of my early notes is that so when they, they in this flashback they show like when she comes home to her mom and says that they're engaged or whatever. That trailer I was convinced was the trailer from the host. These fucking two teenage kids and their little and her little brother are hiding in the middle in, in a trailer in the middle of a field. They're not like in a cave in the woods. <laughs> When they're out in the hiding, for, <laughs> it looks exactly like that trailer that they're like uh, hiding, and it's in the middle of a field. And I was like, "Is that the trailer from Host? They're gonna have a bonfire in like weird, fuzzy, like 
out of focus shots and then make out yeah and, and then when her mom walked out i was like is that the mom from sister sister nope i'm racist <laughs> <laughs> and I googled it like nope nope I just nope that's not her just some other woman but uh, we are uh, quickly introduced to Kim Kardashian at this point yeah this is because then it cuts to like you know it well it shows him as a kid growing up blah 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 and then it cuts to like current Adult. not current time yeah. but current narrative time that's not from the you know that she's telling the story from or whatever but she says so she's like I want to grow up to be a, a marriage counselor in Judah well her dream was to become a marriage counselor. Like the woman who's telling us this story. Oh, oh! It's the least twist. Oh. Like, again, I was like, if they didn't act like it was a twist at the end, I would have been fine with it. But they act like it's like this like reveal of like, oh my God, it was her the whole time. And I'm like, motherfucker, oh. of course it was. It's so obvious. So Kim's like trashing I her. Need, I just need to talk about her character first. Kim Kardashian's Kim character? Kardashian. Yeah, she just plays like a bitchy. She's a bitch like like always complains about what judas wearing yeah oh look at those shoes yeah i didn't notice thank you because i wasn't talking about hers i was talking about yours they look like orthopedic shoes uh and i got it got to the point where you were in dealing with the uh this we won't get into it yet but the message of the film what wouldn't it be implied that she is um kind of promiscuous in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah. she's like... But then she just gets off the hook at the end and there's no... Ill yeah, there's no there's no nothing. She's definitely played, like, eventually towards the end of the movie. She's kind of like the, the right hand of the devil. Not the right... But, like, she's, like, pushing her the wrong direction, basically, is... is, yeah. The, is but, yeah, there's no rep... No, she just disappears from the movie at the end. She, we don't see her again. It's just like, oh... Okay, so her character was irrelevant. She was in the movie so that they could have Kim Kardashian in the movie and sell more tickets to people who were like, "Oh, Kim Kardashian's in this movie," you know what I mean? Like that—that's the only reason well, her she, role. She does. She does have an amazing uh, acting career prior to this. But she also actually isn't terrible in this. What? We're back to this again. Did you not have a good birthday or something? No, I didn't. But they, I mean, but they—they they got her for what she was, yeah. which is you know, yeah, she's snooty. Just, yeah, snooty and like criticizing clothes, like that. So it, it makes it's right in her wheelhouse. I'm just saying. I was like, you know what? I was expecting her to be way worse, and she's not the worst. None of the acting actually in this movie. That uh, as all of all the faults of this film, the acting is actually most of the actors do a really pretty good job. I thought the uh, main girl, uh, the and the other two guys all did, or mm -hmm. like the main three characters all did a pretty. Yeah, respectable job uh, in a horribly written, directed <clears throat> nightmare film. Well, and then Kim has this great line with the <laughs> a great air horn, wah, 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 line. Or no, not Kim. The other, I don't fucking know. Somebody says to somebody, "Yeah, you got your hair with the fuck." I fucked it up. I butchered it. I'm just gonna tr put the clip in of what she says and then play air horns after. Look around this office. What do you see? A bunch of women with hair from India. Now, now I'm gonna feel bad about this. The boss, I for, I forgot who the boss was. Was that like Mary J. Bly, or like who it, you mean? The, who it's the, the, the boss? Like the, the actual actress? The the actual actress. It's she's uh, a Vivian. Singer. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, Vanessa Williams. Vanessa Williams. Yep, that was it. Yeah, Vanessa Williams. I feel bad. Oh about my that. god, I have so many things about Vanessa Williams' character, who's not in this movie that much. But so Vanessa, okay, we're not explaining this very well. Uh, Judith works at like a uh, a dating, like a hookup, yeah, like a like a high end like dating firm, Ashley, Ashley Madison, like ma yes, like a match up, <laughs> like we we put like rich guys would find them women, and it's like a like a high end dating business, I guess, matchmaker business. And Judith is the like their therapist kind of, like yeah. The, she she identifies like what a, a yeah, I guess what like a woman wants, like what yeah. each of them wants in a relationship. Yeah, like she designs like a, a, a questionnaire. I'll, I'll, I'll do a Brian. She yeah. does that. She does the questionnaire and then that happens. And so uh, Vanessa Williams is like her boss, like runs the place and has the worst French accent. Uh, Judith Ali is looking to invest in my company. We want to take wise counsel online and international. Oh, okay. There's a reason for that. I know. <laughs> But you don't know that the whole movie, so the whole time, and I think that we'll get to it, but I think that was just a save. The reason, any, I think that was just, that was added at the moment. We'll get there later. 
You are in an existential identity crisis. I did my research on you. You spent those two weeks in Paris, and now all of a sudden you got a French accent. Well, we know you from Georgia. Bitch, you better get your ass out of my office. But she has the worst French accent that's so distracting. I'm like, that is not, you sound ridiculous. It's like on and off and terrible. And again, you said there's a reason, but it's bullshit reason that they made up on the day because they watched the, all the video of her talking and we're like, we can't let this be in the movie. We have to explain away why her French accent is so bad. You have no idea what you are in for. But I wish you all the best with your struggle. Okay, so this guy who is basically Mark Zuckerberg yeah. And like, he's not basically. They compare him to. He it. is Mark They literally Zuckerberg. say he's like yeah. Zuckerberg or whatever. He's just some mogul. Who's that? You're killing me. You don't know who that is? No. The third largest social media inventor since Zuckerberg? Classmate? What planet are you from? But the way they describe him is like, you don't, you don't know. Harley, this dude, whatever his, whatever his name, name is. is. You don't know that this dude, a uh, guy who created the third largest social media gathering site on the planet. The third the largest. <laughs> the third. Name me the top three, movie. So you got Facebook, because that clearly exists because they say Zuckerberg. So Facebook. Twitter. Twi I, okay. I, yeah, sorry. I was thinking in this. Yeah, so Twitter. MySpace. MySpace, <laughs> Google Plus. Like what? Uh, I mean, uh, I guess things like I was like, there's not a third thing that is like some I would big. Have, I would have hoped you have said Twitter on the grounds that we have a goddamn handle. I know. Sorry, I didn't think of. To me, that wasn't like you said hangout. Like <laughs> I don't know that Twitter's a little different to me in my head. But you're right. Yeah. And so he's there to get matched up because he he can't find a, a good woman. Basically, right? Is no, no. He's, or he, he he's wanting to create. Oh, an algorithm. that's right. He's not there to be matched. Yeah, up. he's yeah, creating yeah. an algorithm to basically use his site to set up people. Yeah, and so he's working with Judith, our main character, because uh, she's a psychologist or whatever. Uh, and she has a degree of some immediately, sort. Immediately, but... the sexual predator oh. is igniting in this man, dude. I think that this dude throws off so many warning signs throughout from moment one. <laughs> This man, I'm like, this guy's gonna rape you. This man is a sexual predator. He's a nut. I was like, this is awful. Like, don't. He's he's so inappropriate all the time. Immediately from like moment one. Be with another man. You know, the sex should be random, like animals. Are you getting turned on? Ew! Please, you need to go home. Like, you gotta see this coming, girl. <laughs> like, you gotta know that this guy is not... <laughs> well, and then she does multiple times. Yes! And she keeps resisting. I... <sighs> yes. Right, but anyway, so they start making this... Uh, they start making a... Working together to create this yeah. thing. And then, so we, then we cut to uh, of the pharmacy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And... okay. Well, I want to take a certain <sighs> shot of the pharmacy. Okay. The counter shot. And... I, I want people to look at something. Look how level this shot is. Look <laughs> how level the, the, it's slanted like like just like <laughs> this the entire time. It's just like the first one. Yeah, like or every, all of them. Everything that involves the counter is slanted. <laughs> That's hilarious. So then we meet a nice, nice old racist, bigoted white lady who runs the store. Who's like, She's got a darkie here. You're not gonna steal anything, are you? Yes, ma'am. She'll be working the register and stocking the shelves. I check the register at random every day, so you're gonna have to account for every dime. No problem. Random. I got it. Uh, she, we, she, and we, also, we what's also her voice? didn't mention that the person that she hired was Brandy. Yeah, <laughs> I which I didn't. I was like, she looks familiar. <laughs> I can't remember. I, to, I had to Google it eventually. I was like, oh, Brandy. I haven't seen you in anything in 20 years. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the last thing I saw her in. So. Well, and then and then also is is what's his name there in this scene? Bryce. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't remember. I'm gonna be real honest. <laughs> it took me oh far too long to realize, and I don't know why. Maybe because I didn't. They didn't connect these in any way, and I didn't notice or I didn't pay attention early in the movie to him saying he wanted to be a pharmacist. I didn't realize for like the first two scenes we were in the pharmacy store that that was Bryce. <laughs> I was like. 
who are these people? Why do we care about these people? And then eventually I was like, oh, oh, that's, oh. To be fair, you were probably drunk at this time. Oh, yeah, a little bit. But I still should have noticed. I don't know how I missed uh, that. So Bryce, I got he's busy with inventory crap and whatever. Yeah, work. and then she hired and he, Brandy. He forgets Judith's birthday. That was the that was the big turning point for Judith where she was. Are like, we already that far? Holy are we cow. No, I don't think so. Well, Maybe we're close. Know, we're, we're getting close to that. Ads. Well, there's there we missed one of my the, the one of the biggest production noticeable production. Holy shit! How did this happen? In whatever the budget movie this was. We cut back to after the pharmacy. They cut back to the thing, and uh, there's a little more repart- repartee between Harley and Judith about shit. And this line is fucking amazing because Harley says something about I've never I've ever seen you and blah something, and she goes, "Well, I doubt we run in the same circle." I doubt we run in the same circles. And then, literally, the next sentence, Harley's like, "Well, I do uh, run at blank park." Oh, it's- do you run? Yeah, every day at Landover, Landover Park. I knew it. <laughs> they literally <laughs> run in the... She says, I don't think we run in the same circles. Next sentence, no, we actually literally run in the same well, then circles. She, she makes a comment of like, oh, you're always running around with your shirt off. Yes. Because that has to be set up. Another thing in this discussion that is flares of Tyler Perry's um, very uh, religious upbringing. Mm-hmm is whenever she's like calculating things to match up people, she doesn't take like extra, like uh Oh yeah, that's, they, they talk about that, yeah, yeah. Which is like- Cause he's like, he's like, what about, there's no sex questions. But there are no questions there about sex. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't believe in sex before marriage, so why would he need that? She's like, yeah, I don't, I don't believe, believe in sex, sex before marriage. That, that, that doesn't matter if you don't believe yeah. that. You're hired for this fucking job. What about job? all the other people that apply to this thing? Like, yes. I get that maybe you're it's, fine. It, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine to have that thing, but when you're hired for this specific yeah, job... it's a fucking matchmaking site. People want to fuck. Like, you got to add those questions in there. That's ridiculous. <laughs> And then and he's like, oh, well, that's... And this is, like, where he's, like, getting super creepy because she already told him she's married. Okay. I'm my, impressed. I'm thoroughly impressed. My husband's never going to believe that I'm helping out with stuff you like this. You were amazing. Uh, how long you guys been married? And then he's, like... They go, they're, like, at the elevator, and he's, like, just fucking being a... Just... I'm, like, this is sexual harassment. This dude is just, like, you know what? I'm... You know, sex should be exciting. You should just fuck anywhere you want. And she's just like, okay. And he's like, yeah. And she's like, and but she's kind of getting turned on because. Well, and that whatever. that leads to another message in this from a uh, good old Tyler Perry. That that that'll be, that'll be later down the line of where it is appropriate to have sex. Yeah. Because yes. that, that's made a point of. Yes, it is made a point of numerous times. And then so we cut back. Then she gets home that night, and this isn't still quite the birthday yet. But they're sitting on the couch just hanging out or something. Oh, I remember. There's a scene. I don't even remember the context exactly what they're talking about. But, uh, well, they're talking about sex. Uh, her and her husband or boyfriend or whatever. They're talking about sex. And they're sitting on the couch. And I don't know what... But the, 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 so they're talking. And it's like a close-up. And then a sentence ends. And then it jump cuts. <laughs> the camera pulls back four feet. The exact same shot in the exact same moment of the conversation. But the camera, it goes from here to whoop here. And I'm like, you know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to take you out to dinner, 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 dinner. It's one of the worst jump cuts I've ever seen in a movie, let alone a movie with a budget like this with with assuming, you know, like all these professional people working on it. I'm like, how do you, how does that happen? How does that happen? Before, or it had to been, it had to been the next... They, but like Judith tries to take Harley's advice for sex and make it spontaneous, and she just goes into the kitchen and attacks him. What's wrong? Mm. 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 D- that's a tear don't do it. she like comes home and it's like fuck me now and it's like slapping it with no nothing <laughs> just out of nowhere she's like make kissing him and like uh. fucking hitting him and he's like what is going on as a normal person would react he's like what the fuck i mean I, I, you that's the thing you gotta have a conversation with your partner be like hey 
maybe we should try spicing up a little bit. Not just start smacking him around. He's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then she gets all upset about it. No, open babe, shirt. Okay, no, it's my new shirt. Come on, come on. Just, uh, babe, hey, scratch hey, my back. Scratch it. Look, this is weird. We're not gonna do this. And then she gets all upset at him. Like, you won't try new things. It's like, you gotta. Let them know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't just... But, uh, I mean, this leads into the Tyler Perry thing of, you know, the the, the well brought up yeah. man is like, we're going to go into the bedroom and do this. Turn the right. lights off under the covers, that sort of thing. Like, that's what he said. They're like, lights off under the covers, through good the, Christian through, sex. Through the pajama bottom. Yeah, so, yeah, good Christian sex. Also, there's a scene where they say something about, he's like, like, well, your mom doesn't know about that special thing we do for, on our birthday. My mother doesn't know about the little trick I give you on birthdays and holidays. And if she did, you wouldn't get it anymore. Oh. And I was Damn. like, yeah, and I was like, you fucking weird fucks. Just have normal sex whenever you want. Not on birthdays, you closeted <laughs> prude fucks. Just fuck like you want to whenever you want. Not because it's somebody's birthday. <laughs> fucking shit like that drives me crazy in movies but i think it's the next day was the birthday or yeah it's pretty close it's pretty close after, yeah she gets a whole bunch of flowers at her desk which we find out are from harley yeah so creep yeah. be creeping yeah yeah exactly and then yeah because she thought yeah she thought it was from her husband and then no from in harley. case you're in case you're wondering why we're so confused this movie's a goddamn mess it's it's a mess and it's all over the place and well and, and the biggest problem is it's really hard to tell and we'll get to it later when we get into the actual big conflict i have no idea how long this movie takes place over if it's literally six months it could be or six, six days, days. Yeah. i know that's what i mean and it's like okay how long has she been talking to harley how do, how long have they been having a thing is it literally I, I was i had no idea i had no idea and it's because it makes no attempt to even clarify how long anything has been since things happened which is infuriating, and it makes it really hard to follow <laughs> where the story is going but the, and to explain. The big thing that changed with her was the fact that Bryce forgot her birthday. Yeah. And I guess it's the second year in a row they, they made a point of saying that. It's the second year in a row, Bryce. Yeah. And so the next morning when... Or no, it was that night she gets really pissed off at him, yeah. and then he gets into, like, cowboy... Oh, boy, that was a great scene. Kyle, another reason I hate you for making me watch this movie... <laughs> One, it's awful. Two, it made me gay and gave me jungle fever. That man, <laughs> that man is tall, jacked. Kevin Hart is. Whew, I gotta say, he is. Uh, oh my god, that scene with the guitar. I was. If anything is gonna, I was gonna questioning things. I was super questioning things. I was like, this man is gorgeous. <laughs> It's the prettiest man I think I've ever seen. He just needs like a base of olive oil and yes. Hey, yeah, but so he dances like he puts on some music and his take gets down to his boxers, not actually naked. Yeah. that would be a little too far. And also, got to keep those nice Christian values in place. Yes, yeah, so yeah, that's what I mean. Getting naked would be a little too far. Just down to the boxers to show off his fucking masterpiece of a body. Good <laughs> Christ. Ugh. <laughs> um. Also, okay, so there's I don't know where this falls, but this is an important plot point. Is that at one point they're out for dinner. And they're coming home from dinner, and right. some like thugs. There's like a group of like three oh, or four right, guys. Right. They're they're trying to make talk shit and get, yeah, they're get like hitting on her and being shitty. Yeah, and 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 her, and her husband and, does the reasonable thing. Yes, the absolute reasonable thing is like let's let's okay, that's yeah, that sucks, but let's get in the car. But she's like she's she, like how dare you? I mean, she goes. I mean, not I'm not I'm just making a statement oh, here because yeah. I've seen this happen many times. She goes straight hood, and that happens a lot in this movie. She snaps for and like people. starts going at them, and he has to like grab her and drag her away. Look, I show some respect. Take your ass to hell. Baby, come you know what? On. You need to be Damn in it. church. Get in the car. Pick up the Bible since you ain't got Judith, no vocabulary. Get in the car. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I, I get it, but at the same time, and then she's mad at him for not like defending yeah. her honor. I'm like. And he goes, they could have had weapons. And it's like, that's a fair... It's the middle of the night on the street, and it's, like, four dudes. What is he going to do? You want your husband to go, like, exactly. beat up all four exactly. of those guys? Like, what do you uh, want to happen there? Those guys could have had guns. We did the right thing. And I was like, oh, absolutely. Uh, this this Harley dude's going to defend her honor when they're out one day. Yeah. Just to, like, show how much of a well, pussy the, her husband the next, is. The next day, she got up. She's still... A, pissed off at him yeah and she goes she's like i'm just gonna go out on a you know saturday jog and sets up the 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 meet with harley in a in a way she's 
runs into oh, yeah, him. Oh, yeah, yeah. She obviously yeah. sets it all up. But they get running, and then a bike dude runs into him. And this dude gets straight up like he's going to start stomping this motherfucker in. Yes. Hey, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. your problem, man. Huh? Huh? I didn't huh? see you. Say something. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 Harley, wait, wait. No, hey. no, no, Harley. No, Harley. Please. Harley. I'm okay. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, no, it's ridiculous. He, he, the, she runs directly into this biker. How did she not see him? Maybe she did it on purpose as a test. I don't know. Maybe that's the thing. Cause otherwise she just runs right into this biker on the path and, and then like, ah, my ankle. Who's that? <laughs> watch out, watch out. Let's go. And then Harley fucking snaps and it's like going to murder this guy for bumping into her on a bike path. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually now thinking maybe she did it on purpose to mm -hmm. see if Harley would protect well, she, her. She then takes, uh, he then takes her to like his like ridiculous apartment or whatever. It's like a, an unbelievably fancy place. Are they in? Are they in Baltimore? Or are they in a uh, DC? I forget which. Uh, they're DC. There's like random shots of DC from the air, like for the, no just. There's various, so we know it's DC. I guess we get to see how rich this guy is. Yeah. Uh, there's various parts of his up, his apartment or house or whatever or whatever it is. It's like a brownstone almost. But it's you go down to his garage. Yeah. He has a motorcycle, a Cadillac. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what that is. And a Ferrari. This, but... Yeah. He but drives the, a Ferrari all the time. The Ferrari he? is part perpendicular to the the Cadillac. And the motorcycle on the other side, and then you have the garage doors. It's the weirdest way I I've not, ever. No, I wasn't it's, saying. <laughs> it's the weirdest way I've ever seen somebody park a, a car. They drive constantly. Yeah, he does. He drives that movie constantly. That's where I have to go look at that. I didn't notice. I wasn't paying attention to that kind of shit because there was, I was so mad about everything in this movie that stuff like that. I was just like, Meh. Um, but we did the other. We got to touch on a, a story point. So with uh, Brandy's character, uh, we, we there's a moment where we find out. At the drugstore, that she's running from yeah, an ex boyfriend. She's, she's hiding from somebody. What's wrong? Her ex came in here. Tell him, honey. I've been hiding from him, running from him for years. Hiding from an ex boy. She says, My ex boyfriend. And then she goes home, and there's a shot where she has like four locks on her door. And I'm like, Harley's her ex boyfriend. Like, this movie is so fucking predictable the whole <laughs> time. I'm like, <laughs> Okay, yeah, Harley's her. Like, it's not, I mean, and I guess maybe it's not supposed to be, like, some super Shyamalan-style twist, but it's like, this is the most predictable thing. I'm writing in my notes every time. I'm like, yeah, Harley's her boyfriend. There's this great <laughs> moment where they, uh, everybody in this movie's fit as fuck, which is, I mean, like, all the actors are just jacked. But, um, there's a moment where after she sprains her ankle running and they're back at his apartment and he's like, putting a fucking thing on her ankle and she like she has like a sherlock moment where she's like are those a pair of high heels in your bedroom heels on the floor those diamond earrings on this coffee table uh earrings on oh, the table right. you just fucked a girl <laughs> <laughs> like she, she like looks around the crime scene uh, she's like uh, there's she... heels over there there's earrings there you just had sex didn't you <laughs> and he's like uh -oh. you got me <laughs> but i just thought it was great it was just like imagine her she's like she's like a super detective she's a super sleep but, but only for only for people having sex yeah That's only finding out she, she can walk into a room and be like somebody fucked in this room <laughs> 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 Don't play with me, Harley. <sighs> Verbal sparring. You know, that's a sign I'm winning. Also, I don't know where this falls. There's a line where Harley is, because, uh, again, it's so hard. To, there's just, all this movie is is conversations. There's not really, until the end, there's not really, like, actions that occur. It's just people talking. So, like, it's hard to remember where conversations fall. But there's one point where Harley... And it's after we've already seen uh, her husband in uh, doing the guitar naked dance. Harley says to her, uh, Judith, he's like, you know, your husband, uh, why are you with him? He's kind of regular. He's kind of regular, but lucky. And I'm like, motherfucker, have you seen this man? <laughs> I want to be in him. I want him to be in me. I don't, he is not regular. <laughs> this man is anything but regular. <laughs> 
man oh, is gorgeous. Brian, you were revealing too much about yourself. <laughs> Fair enough. But I was like, that made me so angry. He's like, I mean, I know it's, I get it because he's like a fucking crazy psycho. That, that's why he says that. But I was like, you can't, that's not a convincing, you're not even, that's not convincing because I've seen her husband. He's gorgeous. How dare you? <laughs> It's kind of regular. Bull fucking shit! So for the birthday thing, a point that we missed that are about it that is insane is that she put a cupcake out for herself with a candle in it when he came home oh. as like a passive aggressive, <laughs> hey, fuck you, you uh. forgot my birthday again. Which, fuck him, he forgot her birthday two years in a row. That's kind of ridiculous. Like you should remember your wife's goddamn birthday, especially two years in a row. How do you pull that off two years in a row? Anyways, but it's super passive aggressive. She's like... I just got a little cupcake on the table there. I'll just eat that and cry. <laughs> Babe, I just got a little carried away with work. That's all. Yeah, I understand. It's all good. We did we talk about the makeover? Let's talk about the makeover, the makeover montage. The music kicks in and we get Kim K makeover because this is before she goes to New Orleans. I think. Yeah. I think it is. But they're like, yeah. They, there's Kim's like, well, girl, I gotta. I'm. She's like, I'm. And Judas like, I'm done with all this fucking make me sexy or whatever even though she's gorgeous the whole movie like in the first scene where kim's like you're gross she looks amazing like I'm, she i was like she's wearing normal clothes and her makeup's great and her hair looks great and, and they're like you're fucking you're so homely and like what is wrong with you and i'm like no she looked no, not even they didn't even try they didn't even like put glasses on her like a normal but, movie but like they're not they're not like it's not like a sh it's not a shopping montage no because they 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 have all this stuff in their studio she said so she's basically stealing from the company <laughs> yes what kind of fabric is this one that's never been on your back it's called expensive <laughs> but it, it gets to the point where harley is like why don't you come with me to Louisiana for a, uh, mm -hmm. it, it was for a presentation. Initially. Yeah, something like that. Which yeah, they do the, give a presentation. This scene, this montage, this New Orleans montage, oh. serves two purposes. Yeah. One, Tyler Perry wanted to basically spend movie money to go back home and hang out with his family and friends <laughs> and eat a shitload of like bourbon street food. Yeah, yeah. So right before they go, we do have a cut back to the pharmacy where we, uh... I just have to talk about the pharmacy lady one more well, time. Wait. The old white lady looks like a Halloween mask. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like you could peel her face off and put it on you and go as creepy old white lady yeah. for Halloween. M Mrs. Doubtfire, basically. Yeah, yeah, she looks like her skin is being drugged to the underworld. But, like, uh, it is the terrifying. Well, as I was getting, the second point of yeah, that uh, <laughs> New Orleans thing is to set up the flight back. Yes. And oh boy. Brian, the flight back. You... Well, first, the flight there, there's a line, yes, but the flight, we'll get the flight back real quick. The flight there, she gets on the plane and goes, Is this your plane? Like, it all? Like, all the parts uh, and everything? Yeah. Is this plane, is all of this plane yours? Yeah, no, all of it but the tires, baby. <laughs> Just, like, what does that line mean? Oh. Is, is all of this plane yours? No, no, half of it. I got the front half and then, uh, it's like, what? That doesn't make so any sense. I've never been on a private jet before. Me neither. How many of them have rear-facing seats? I think a lot of them. I think. They do? Okay. I think they have, like, a lot of them have, like... Anybody you know, who's super rich and owns their own jet, can you validate this for us? Also, why are you not subscribed to us on Patreon? Give <laughs> us a lot of money. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think I think they do. I think some of the nicer, like, fancy ones, you know, they have, like, little seats that are grouped together. I don't know. I've never been on a private jet. But uh, my music note for the scene when they go to New Orleans, I was like, well, they're either going to New Orleans... Or a blues game. So I'm not, because it starts playing when the blues come marching in. I'm like, one or the other. And then, so yes, the flight back. This is when the movie really gets <laughs> fucking nuts. The flight back, they, uh, they're like having champagne. I'm like, oh no, she's champagne drunk. Shit's about to go down. Because <laughs> they've been drinking champagne on the flight. I'm like, and they start talking about like, uh, sex basically i mm -hmm. guess and i'm like oh she's because i talk about how how where you should have sex or again that's a conversation that comes i think that's in this scene i don't know. yeah i want to make love to you right now right right i, I can't remember exactly but they just basically i'm like oh you guys are about to join it, the it basically club. comes to right here yeah on the plane yeah <laughs> yeah and then he fucking rapes her please stop Get off! Get off me! Get, get off! 
spoiler, he fucking rapes her. Like, actively, he comes at her and she's like, no, no, get the fuck off me, no. And then, like, he just keeps going. And then he's like, well, now you said you, now you can say you resisted. Get off me! Stop! Stop it, stop. You stop. Stop it. Now you can say you resisted. And then he starts making out with her. I'm like... This is horrifying, which is supposed to be. He's a fucking yeah. crazy person. But, but character-wise, I think character-wise, yeah. she gives. She like, does. But then afterwards, she it's it's I mean it is at least I'll give it this kudos for this. It is they at least portray it as it's a, as a complicated issue because right afterwards, she's like I never want to see you again. Are you okay? I don't want to ever see you. So like she clearly, I'm like, well, okay. If she just said that, he she clearly felt like she just raped. He just raped her, but so, she also definitely enjoyed. How, how long has that vendetta last? I, not long. A, a scene. Danger. This world ain't simple. Some the mother gets there eventually, and there's like a scene where she's like, just like just hair's a mess and everything. She's like disheveled. And she ha she is like the only thing I want to do right now is take a shower, and yeah, I thought this was a, I I think that's a brilliant little piece of of storytelling to a degree, yeah, because I mean that's that's this character feels, yeah, like violated, shamed, yeah. violated, well, and shame. Yeah, I think both. Shame. I think it's both. both. I think. And then uh, with the mother there, especially, yeah, she feels the need to kind of you know at least make the appearance of clear. Yeah, I was like, oh, here. look, good. Another post-rape shower scene. Thanks. High kicks. <laughs> like, that's a thing in these movies. <laughs> it's like a six-minute scene of her in the bathroom, like, crying. crying. And I'm like, why? Why is this? I don't... This is a movie It's called High Kicks, and it's got people doing karate. What is going on? Uh, at this point, I was like, if, and it's a big fucking if, but if the if the message of this movie, which it's not, like I said, it's a big fucking it. But if the message of this movie at this point was going to be that the fact that she, uh, if she, uh, that it was critiquing the fact that she had only ever been with one man, if she had more experience, she would have known, uh, been a little more uh, knowledgeable and worldly to know that this guy's, a, to identify the fact that this guy's a fucking psycho. And so that maybe it's not a good idea to like settle down immediately when you're six years old <laughs> with somebody, but you should see a little more of the world. That's not the message. I was like hoping like maybe... That well, was where it was going to go. It could be a secondary thing. Yeah, that's not. I mean, no. it's, it's no, not. It's, it's not. not Tyler Perry's message. No, but it, it can be. What, that was the message it, I yeah. got from this moment. What do you dream about? You. Uh, yeah, I said I doubt that's where it's going, but a brother can hope. <laughs> I mean, Obama won because a brother hoped. <laughs> That was his mess. That was his. Yeah, thing. I know. And then I wrote, "This is getting way too political. I shouldn't have watched this drunk." <laughs> well, like their re like drug filled relationship blooms, I guess, to a point where. Oh, and by the way, the way they show they show drugs without showing drugs in this, and yeah, that's hilarious. Oh yeah, I thought I was like, because I wonder what this was rated. Was it like PG maybe? Probably. Okay, because I guess that's why. Because I was like. They don't ever show, like, he kind of has the drug. He's like, you guys want to do some some drugs? Hold on, i got to go do some drugs. Ooh, I just did drugs. It's like you never see, and it's cocaine, but they never say cocaine. Yeah. They just He's like, oh, you're not from the city, are you? You're definitely not from the city because she's like, what is that? And then it's, but we don't know what it is because it's all off camera. But I mean, with cocaine. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they start like hanging out and partying and she's like falling more for him basically. But, but like the sex places are a bathtub. Yeah. A car. Yeah. There was the plane. The plane. Anywhere where, that's where, not in where bed. Where is it not? Yeah, there in we bed go. under the covers exactly. in the dark. Like a good God fearing <laughs> through, girl. Through the pajama bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, through pajama bottoms. Oh, and then so she he calls her. At one point, and it's like, right after the rape, and he's like, you need to come, you need to come over here right now. And he's like, why, and her boyfriend's in the other room, like, watching football. And he's like, why isn't your boyfriend wondering who you're on the phone with? Why isn't he wondering who you're talking to on the phone right now? And I was like, because her boyfriend's not a fucking psychopath who always wonders who she's on the phone with at all times. And so she's like, okay, I'm coming, and she leaves and goes over, and also, this is when it really hits off. Who, yeah. who do you think, you think he's watching uh, Saints or the Ravens? <laughs> 
I'm going to go Packers, Saints, Super Bowl. Call it now. This will be out probably after the Super Bowl. No. Day of the Super Bowl, maybe. Or weekend of the I don't know. Fuck it. Who cares? But Saints are 2009. Yeah. Oh, you mean. I Sorry, I thought you meant. <laughs> Did the Saints are still in it, though? This Or no. not the Saints. Sorry, I meant Steelers. The, Sa- the Saints are terrible. No, I year. meant Steelers. Right? They're still in it. Yes. Yeah, you think that you think Let's the talk about whoa, football. You think the Steelers are going to beat the Patriots? I don't know. I don't care. I haven't watched football since the Rams you, moved you, to L.A. You, Fuck you, Stan Kroenke. <laughs> you you think Ben Roethlisberger, who's held together with duct tape and screws, is going to be <laughs> a fucking glorious Adonis that is Tom Brady? Guys, he likes Tom Brady. Get at him. <laughs> He has more wins than anybody else. <laughs> what do you think about Tom Brady? Fuck Tom Brady! Yeah, then they have that steamy bathtub sex. And I was like, this is a fire hazard. There are way too many candles. <laughs> this is a fire can, hazard. Can you imagine the setup for that? Just like, can you actually imagine oh, lighting all those candles it would be a and nightmare. doing the pedals? Hundreds of candles. It's like, baby, let's have a sweet, sexy you're, you're bath. Gonna be on, you're gonna be Give on... me 20 minutes. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to crawl around on the floor and light candles for you're gonna, you, Well, you're going to be lighting like candle 30 and be like, fuck, this is not <laughs> worth it. Done. This is not worth it. 30 candles is enough. If you don't fuck me with 30 candles, 50 is not going to make that much of a difference. <laughs> I was like, that is a super fire hazard. And then that's when they do cocaine right after that. So, sorry, they do... Uh, the drug. Some, <laughs> they, uh, they do some stuff. <laughs> they, they do drugs? <laughs> drugs? A drug. Give me one drug, please. I will take one drug and uh, I will do it over here. <laughs> what do I do about Bryce, though? I mean, what, what, what's the solution? What do they do about Bryce? Nothing. Just leave? They him? just do nothing. Yeah. She just kind of leaves him. Again, this is the the whole problem with how long does this take place over? Has she been seeing and hanging out with Harley? It seems like, my guess is like a few days. Like literally, like this takes place over the span of like maybe a week. And like, so like the, the from the first day she meets him to like maybe then that weekend they go to New Orleans. And then uh, a few days later, he uh, Bryce finds her past, you know, he's sitting in the club with him at the end of the movie. Mm-hmm. I bet that's all within the course of a week. I guess, because that's the only thing that makes sense, because if it was any longer than that, like, what is her husband doing during this whole time? Is he not wondering why her, his wife's not around? Like, I don't know. It's, the narrative is sloppy at best. But there's a point where, he you know, they're at the party, right? Let's let's jump to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where Bryce we're is, like, going through all these people who are high as shit. Yeah. And she is, like... And drunk and stuff. Yeah, drunk and club. Stuff. So he's, like, trying to be, like, we gotta get you out yeah, of here. Let's, yeah. let's go. And she's just, like... I'm living it here <laughs> yeah. so much. Hey, Ryan. Come on, let's go. Let's go home. Judith, let's go now. Get up. I don't think she wants to go with you. I'm going to go back in there and have fun. Yeah. You can just... You can just go back to your normal. We're life. done. We're basically like yeah. we're done. You, we're we're done. I I don't love you. Well, actually, she has a pretty heartfelt moment of like, look, I'm. You don't do it for me anymore. I don't just want a good guy. I want a phenomenal guy. You're not phenomenal. <laughs> like, and she kind of gets serious with them, and then she's like, and then she's like, I'm going back. And, and then he like slams the truck and, and breaks the mirror. The... Explodes. It, I think it was that that triangle shaped window. what it was yeah i would watch by the way that 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 truck is a truck i kind of want in a way awesome yeah because it's so beaten up yeah it's so old yeah Yeah. Uh, i i thought the mirror exploded i couldn't figure out i was like what just broke because the window's down so i was like what yeah i think you're right because i forgot that was a thing those little glass anyways my favorite thing about that whole scene when they're leaving the club because I identified it with it so much, was that when they're leaving, some random white girl just walks up to Bryce and starts grabbing him. And I'm like, I know the feeling. Get off. (laughs) 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 I was like, yep, that would be me. (laughs) Get off. (laughs) So uh, Harley basically is trying to like, woo her even more even though he's already got her basically it was like you're gonna start up your own practice and then you, you're gonna have this office and it's gonna be ready and yeah. everything it's like oh i need to go get my my mac my laptop, or whatever yeah. 
So like she goes in and the her mother's like having a seance. Of uh, sorts. Like literally, like they're like uh, her. She got her prayer circle from church, like all the old women from church, and they're like well, sitting there. Well, all they come like, up there from Georgia. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, because that's where she's from. Like where is she? And they're all just like holding hands and like praying. And uh, but so there's a scene before this where when she first comes back from like the club or something, and her mom slaps the fucking bejesus out of her. That's before this scene. You remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Her mom just fucking <laughs> smacks the shit out. of where do you get that smart mouth from? And I was like, again, it's like where the movie goes zero to a hundred with these characters. I'm like, holy shit. She just smacked the shit out of her. Um, but yeah, so they have a thing and then like they got to get her laptop. So they're like, fuck this, we're going. And then like Harley's wrestling with her mom. Oh yeah, it just throws her to the ground. Yeah, and kind of like throws her over and then is doesn't give a shit. And it's like, let's get out of here. And then this kind of sets off all of the yeah conflict. it sets emotion we need to get, talk about bryce going to brandy's apartment for that whole reveal yeah oh i forgot right about in, that this happens right the re, the big reveal yeah uh well she she well okay <laughs> set up because i'm getting this out of order uh they're in she's in harley's apartment uh judith is yeah and she's really upset about how harley treated his mother and yeah and stuff and then he she like she like digs into some old wounds that we don't know about. Does she? I don't yeah, know saying her. like, "Sorry, sorry, my mother was there for me when oh, yours wasn't." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he just goes in, and, then he, and he slaps the he well, gives he her the, the, the biggest her. pimp hand I've ever it seen. You gonna leave me? Huh? Is that what you gonna do? You the hell are you? Is that what you gonna do? What the? Gives <laughs> the shit out of her. We only see one though. Yeah. Uh, and then the next thing is in Brandy's apartment where uh, Bryce is like, "I don't know what to do." Yo, you've always been good to me. Be with me. And she's like, I can't. Yeah. I have HIV. <laughs> Bryce. I have HIV. AIDS! Yeah. No, my favorite thing isn't, isn't that she says, I can't, I have HIV. That is what happens. That is yeah. the fucking, blah, like, oh my God. Okay, Brandy has HIV. We didn't see that coming. The My favorite line, because it's so fucking brutal in that scene, is not, because <clears throat> the way she, like, this is right after Judith breaks up with him and mm -hmm. he's like heartbroken and he's talking to Brandy and like he decides like, cause he's had a beer. He's like, I'm going to try to kiss her. And he goes in for the kiss and my, it's so brutal. It's a brutal shutdown. She doesn't just go, no, 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 you're not thinking straight. You know, you're, you're emotional. It's let's, this isn't, you know, it's not right. Blah, blah, blah. That's not what she says. She says, what are you doing? We're not attracted to each other. Ah, that I'm is like, the, that, <laughs> that is the line that's equivalent of yeah of I think of you me, as a little brother <laughs> yeah it's not you it's me like yeah. she's like we're not attracted to each other she speaks for him as though you're not attracted to me I'm clearly not attracted to you and it was like first off bullshit Brandy look at this man <laughs> <laughs> um, but I just that line was so fucking hilarious I lost it on that line. Uh, in, yeah, like we said, yeah, in this, she reveals she's got HIV. I have HIV. <laughs> AIDS! And the other, wait, again. Wait, Brian, are you sure? I'm positive. Oh, shit! Well, and then and then he talks about uh, who Judith left him for, or, or left yeah, him for. Yeah, and, and in the least surprise, surprise like, ever. Yeah, when she talked about her, she's like, yeah, about Harley. No. I'm not running from Harley anymore. Yeah. <gasps> well, and then she, then he just yells, yes, Judith. Judith! What? What? What's Judith! The, what's the matter? Judith! Judith! What is? What? Judith! <laughs> I, Judith! He just keeps yelling her name at Brandy's <laughs> face. He's like, Judith! <laughs> Judith! What's the Judith! Judith! <laughs> What are you? Either either go or explain. <laughs> One or the other. Don't just yell her name repeatedly. He he gets there, finds her in like the bathtub, beaten up. To yeah. A pool. And also in different clothes, which I was like, I didn't remember. Yeah. Whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, he gets her out to the truck. Then he goes in. He goes back in from. The and then he just tackles him through a glass pane. <laughs> And I was like, we're really, we're really lucky that that was tempered glass and not regular, like a window glass, cause or like a, a sheet glass. Cause mm -hmm. if that had been sheet glass, they would both be dead, cause they would have all been impaled on shards of glass. <laughs> but yeah, it's like tempered glass and it shattered, and he just starts pounding the shit out of him with Brandy. And Brandy comes in with a baseball bat, and he just loads up. He goes, uh, what, what was her name? Her character's name? Brandy. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember. But she goes, he just says her name, and she goes, yeah. 
Harley, it's me. <laughs> Care. Yeah. It's me, Karen. <laughs> and then that's it. That's the yeah. scene. Then we skip ahead to her uh, finishing up this story. And she's like, did Judith get HIV? Did she get HIV too? Yes. Yeah. Because guess what the moral of the story is, Brian? Don't be a whore. <laughs> if you cheat on your husband, you get AIDS. <laughs> AIDS! Yes. It's, it, 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 not only that, it gets a little more sinister than that. It's... <laughs> If you if you if you're a woman and you try to have lofty goals about going and starting your own business and and and, and you don't want to just be satisfied staying in because they make a, a lot of points about how she needs to make sure she stays home and cooks and cleans for her husband and that's what a, a good mm -hmm. wife would do and then if you don't do that and then if you cheat on your husband, pff, AIDS you you die lonely from AIDS. Well, there's there's two different ways to look at it. From this is what I gathered, and also this is what you gathered. It wasn't direct, uh, which is. You can either go the Bryce route, which is you work from the bottom up. You don't take any shortcuts. Yeah. You put in your time and eventually you Right. The idea is that she she tried the shortcut. Yeah. I guess. But I I don't know. It just it's such a brutal ending. Oh yeah. It's because she ridiculous. goes into the she goes into into the drugstore to get her, and this is like years later. And yeah. again, they're like, Oh my god, surprise, the marriage counselor was Judith which, the by whole the way, time. Why is she a different actress than It's not. No, are you sure? No, I think that's the same. Well, maybe in the very first scene. I think in the very first scene, it is a different... I don't have to rewatch it. In the very first scene, it is a different actress, but at the end, it's the same act. Like, mm. I think just to throw you off the first... Like, so that we don't maybe... <laughs> to throw us off. But then at the end, that is the same actress that played Judith okay. at the end. Um, but, like, goes in, gets like, hey, this is the medication you need to keep living. To and then keep she's, being alive. And then as she's leaving, and he's like... Uh, I'll see you when I see you. And then she's leaving. And then his beautiful wife, wife and child in. walk in. Yeah. And she, <laughs> the last shot is just her sadly lonely, li like limping down the street as music plays by herself. And I'm like, the more, oh my God. <laughs> Cheat on your husband once, even once, do one bad thing, you die of AIDS alone. <laughs> that's what you get. And that's and that's yeah. And she and and, that's and the happily great Tyler Perry and she thing. she serves it she serves in that role happily. She's she's fine. She's living it. Um, I think we we also missed a scene that I love, <laughs> just because it's so stupid. Of where it cuts to in the when um during while she's cheating on Bryce with Harley. There's a scene randomly where it cuts to uh, Bryce in the in the uh, in the pharmacy, and to show how super duper angry and mad he is, he picks up a pencil and breaks. It. Love with someone. Else. <laughs> he's like, oh snap! I'm so he's just, mad. He's just a vanilla man. Yes, yes, he is. A very sculpted. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate vanilla Beautiful. man. <laughs> Beautiful man. Uh -huh. All right. I need to get into this before I forget. Uh, so I worked, I've, I've worked in the industry occasionally. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the films I worked on was Gone Girl. Oh, 2013's yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone Girl. Uh, and I was working in the casting department. I kind of, you know, I kind of worked my way into it very like aggressively. I was doing the shortcut thing. And it, right. Whatever. Uh, so I, 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 whenever we were doing casting for extras, mm -hmm. we had, this happened more than once. Somebody came up with a demo disc of their music oh, nice. and said, can you make sure Tyler Perry gets this? <laughs> does he produce music? I guess so. He probably does. Yeah. yeah. But it was just like, nobody here knows Tyler Perry. <laughs> yeah. We're all just hanging out with Tyler Perry in the back room. <laughs> we're all just hanging out, <laughs> chilling was, with Tyler yeah. Perry. Yeah, I was like, I was never even on set with yeah. the guy. <laughs> funny yes i want to get back to the movie for a second i love that was great but <laughs> there's a fucking <laughs> so the way when we cut back to judith at the end back to like modern time as in the marriage counselor office she the woman looks at her the, the the woman who was there for the counseling is like I guess I will stay with my husband. Thank you so much for sharing this story with me. 
I'm gonna end this almost affair and stay with my husband. And leave. Like, that's not how counseling works. <laughs> you don't go to a counselor's <laughs> office and listen to the counselor tell her life story for three hours, and then you're like, yeah, I'm fixed. It's like, that is the most inaccurate bullshit representation of counseling I have ever seen. She's just like, you know what? That's a good story. I will love my husband now. The end. I'm like, fuck you, movie. God damn it. That's why That's why I knew that you would have this reaction to it, because it is that dumb. It's terrible. Yeah, it's super dumb. And I also... <laughs> I, the, the thing that I was super, I was like, with 15 minutes left in the movie, I felt like there should be an hour left. I'm like, well, how is this going to wrap up? And numerous times I had notes that I'm like, how is there only 20 minutes left? And the reason is because the way it ends, the resolution is, oh, she has AIDS at the end. Like, it's just like, oh, fuck you. She has AIDS at the end. Like, there's no resolution. It's just like, nope, sad story. But how many people have AIDS? I don't know. Does, does everyone Everybody. have AIDS? Everybody has AIDS. <laughs> As we spoiled before, bad, bad. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's terrible. <laughs> but it's 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 bad, bad, but kind of from that crazy person's perspective. Like, it, like it I, was fascinating. I will give it this. I didn't hate watching it because I wanted to know only because I was so angry the whole time, and I wanted to know if I was righteously angry or just if the movie was gonna it's, it's fix the, itself uh, by it's the end. The, the difference between this and say Ben and Arthur is they both are working off a morality play. Yeah. And the difference being is that Tyler Perry, what if he had as little money as Sam Maravich did? Yeah, and he was making this, yeah, and he had all the mistakes and boo boos. Yeah, it would be good. It bad. would be amazing. Yeah, bad. yeah, but he has a there. It's a full product. You know, it's a it's a it's a for the most part a pretty well shot, normal looking movie. There's like I said a couple things here and there, like the fucking <laughs> angle of the camera and the fucking jump. Cause that jump cut is AIDS. So yeah, don't. Don't watch this movie. Don't. Don't watch it. It's or, two hours. You'll never get back. It, it, it's boring, but at the end, it's ridiculous. It boring. is ridiculous. It's, like, I don't think it's worth it. And to me, I found it incredibly offensive and awful. <laughs> like, I thought the message was horrible. Oh, yeah, no, it's I thought totally everything dumb. about it was terrible, and I was just mad the whole time. I have so many times in my notes, I go, I hate you for making me watch this. <laughs> I, I knew, that in my I knew notes, this would be your reaction. That's in my notes like 12 times. I'm like, Kyle, I hate you for making us watch this. <laughs> also, I hate you for making me question my sexuality. <laughs> uh, who are we kidding? I've been questioning it for far longer Whoa. than this review. Uh, no, but, so yeah, don't watch Temptation. Uh, confessions, Tyler Perry's Temptation Confessions of a Teenage Marriage Counselor. <laughs> or whatever the fuck it's called. It's, ter it's terrible. It's AIDS the movie. <laughs> AIDS. AIDS the movie. AIDS. <laughs>